In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 tank mates for the angelfish. We get comments all the time about the angelfish because they are one of the most popular fish in the hobby for many different reasons. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the top 10 tank mates and hopefully answer some of your questions. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So the freshwater angelfish is a South American cichlid. It's one of the most widely kept fish in the hobby today. It's an absolute staple in the industry. We actually did a full care guide on the angelfish, which I'll leave in the description below. But specifically for tank mates with angels, we're looking for fish that aren't gonna get too big that would either attack or hurt the angelfish or anything that's too small that the angelfish would eat. And also when we're looking at community type fish, we don't want any fish that are so active that they might be stressing out the angel or that they're fin nippers something like the tiger barb, they might stress out the angels as well. And since the angels have those long flowing fins, it's really not the best type of tank mate. We get asked a lot about the common Central and South American cichlids like the Oscar, the Jack Dempsey, the Convict, the Firemouth, even the Severum. And some of those could work with the angel in certain scenarios. They're definitely not gonna be on this list as there's much better options when it comes to a top 10 list. We're also gonna add an honorable mention section to this list as there's many different types of fish that could go with the angel. So it was really hard to narrow it down to just 10. And something about my list here is they'll likely have more cichlids than some of the other lists you'll see out there suggestions for tank mates. We are the cichlid bros and one of my favorite things to do is keep different cichlids together. The whole list isn't gonna be cichlids, but there will be a good amount on this list. So with all that being said, let's get into number 10. And as promised, coming in at number 10 on the list is a dwarf cichlid, that is the Crobenzis. Crobenzis cichlids are from Africa, but they're not the same as your Lake Malawi cichlids, like your Mbuna, Peacocks, and Haps. They're actually much better in community setups and make for a great tank mate for some of your American cichlids like the angel. They can definitely tolerate the same water conditions as the angel, which are your standard tropical range, anywhere from 75 to about 83 degrees. I wouldn't recommend chasing any water parameters anyway when it comes to the angel, and so all the tank mates on this list should do just fine in your water conditions. The Curbenza stays pretty small, so you don't need a massive tank. If you maybe have a 55 gallon tank with a few angels, you could definitely get a couple of Crobenzis along with other community fish to really round out that tank. Crobenzis also provides a really cool pop of color to your tank. As you can see, these guys have a variety of colors that you don't see in a lot of cichlids, so I think they make for a really good option when it comes to angelfish. So number nine on the list is something I have in my 150, and that is the denizen barb. The denizen barb or roseline shark is a beautiful shoaling fish that's highly active in your tank, but I don't find them too active that they stress out the angels. They've been great tank mates in here and they're definitely not fin nippers, which is something you have to look out for in some of your different barb species. They aren't from South America like your angelfish, they're actually from India, but they're very adaptable to these different water parameters. And as long as you don't have the tank too warm, the denizen barbs and the angels will coexist very well. They're also great with other community fish and in a planted tank setup. Angelfish are one of the best options when it comes to planted tanks. So a lot of the fish on this list, including the denizen barb, also do well in that community planted aquarium. Coming in at number eight on the list is something I just picked up recently, and that is my discus. Discus are South American cichlids as well, and they're truly some of the most beautiful fish you'll find in the hobby. They are a little bit picky when it comes to their water parameters, their diets, and different things you have to do to keep them healthy. And as long as you're keeping the temperatures in the low 80s, the angelfish can do really well with the discus. Both the discus and angelfish are kind of your slow swimming fish that are a little more delicate than some of your more boisterous cichlids. They do really well in community tanks with fish that aren't too aggressive. They share the same water parameters, the same diet, and overall I think they just look really good in the tank together. Similar to the angels, some people may not even realize that discus are cichlids, so you could always find some that are slightly aggressive, but as long as you have them in an appropriate tank setup with the appropriate tank size, you should be just fine keeping the angel and the discus together. Number seven on the list is something I haven't really kept or even talked much about on the channel, and that is a few different types of light bearers, specifically with platies and mollies. You can definitely keep angels with some of the mollies and platies and other peaceful community fish, as long as you don't get them when they're too small and if the angel is bigger, they could become a snack for that angel. So I would just recommend not getting the tiniest of the live bears and maybe if they're grown up a bit, then you can definitely add your angel fish. Like I said, it's not something I keep a lot or have a ton of interest in, but I can definitely see why they would. They have a lot of great color. They're very active 
and they breed very readily. If you do have these live bears in a tank with an angelfish, it's likely not gonna produce as much fry as you would if you're just keeping them on their own. But in general, they can make for good tank mates and that's why they're coming in at number seven. Number six on the list is the Pleco. And more specifically when it comes to Plecos, I like some of the exotic types that are actually carnivorous or the bristlenose pleco, which is more of a scavenger and algae eater. Both can be really great options and they won't get as massive as something like the common pleco or some of your more boisterous plecos that would need a bigger tank. These plecos are great for scavenging the bottom of the tank for anything that the angelfish missed whenever you're feeding the tank. Or if you have some slight algae, the bristlenose pleco can really be a good cleanup crew. And because they stay in the bottom of the tank or hiding within decor, they really stay away from the angels most of the time. And if you do happen to have a more aggressive angelfish, it likely won't do any harm to the pleco. But I do think the right pleco makes for a really good tank mate option for the angelfish, something that adds a unique layer to your aquarium. Coming in at number five is something you may not see suggested a lot out there, but I think are great tank mates for the angelfish and that is the Geophagus finni and the Geophagus tapajos. Geophagus species are some of my favorite in the hobby because they sift through sand looking for uneaten food and have a really cool behavior to them. And when you're looking at the finni and tapajos, they have some awesome color. I currently have my angelfish in a tank with five Geophagus finni, and they are one of the more peaceful of the Geophagus group and they just have amazing color and fin extensions and I think it makes for a great option with your angelfish. The Geophagus tapos can be slightly more temperamental, but overall they shouldn't harm the angelfish. For both the Sminai and the tapos, if you're just a little bit patient and let it grow up and get that awesome color, there's really nothing like it and I think it could be a great pairing with the angelfish. There are some more aggressive species of Geophagus out there like the Steindachneri and Brasiliensis to name a few, and those specific fish I would not recommend keeping with the angel as they could be just too aggressive and pick on the angels over time. So coming in at number four on the list are some of your mid to larger tetras. I wanted to clarify that because there are some really small tetras out there, the neon tetra for instance, that might be too small and over time the angelfish will likely pick them apart. If you do go with any of your smaller tetras, I would just recommend getting them first, letting them grow out a little bit, and then getting some smaller angels and you might have a little bit better luck. Some of my favorite tetras to keep with the angelfish that you'll almost always have success is the Congo tetra, the lemon tetra, or even the black neon. None of these tetras get too fin nippy and go after your angelfish, and they are just great community fish providing a lot of activity and schooling behavior at times. And then one species that I definitely have to mention is the rummy nose tetra. Some people will say that they're too small or too active for the angelfish. I generally like the rummy nose tetra when you have a big school of them. I think it looks really cool in the tank. And as long as you have a 55 gallon or larger, I think you could definitely get away with a school of those with the angel. Again, it kind of goes back to the size you get them at when you're first starting out your tank. As long as they're not complete juveniles, you should be just fine. So number three on the list are the quarries. I absolutely love Corydoras. They have awesome personality. They're always swimming around in groups and they are very peaceful fish. They also hang out at the bottom of the tank, really scavenging for uneaten food and cleaning up the bottom of your substrate, things that the angelfish might have missed. And because they're always scouring about and swimming through the bottom of the tank, it adds that extra dimension with the angelfish maybe in the mid or upper level of your tank. You might have this group of Corydoras swimming at the bottom. There are also many different types and colors of Corydoras to choose from. For most of these, I would just recommend a pretty good group size, maybe seven or eight or more, and they'll really flourish in your tank, swimming around together, showing some of that great personality, and overall staying out of the way of your angelfish, not harming them, and the angelfish definitely won't go after them in most cases. So I promised a lot of cichlids on this list, and coming in at number two is the Epistogramma. The Epistogramma is a dwarf cichlid from South America, and overall they are pretty peaceful fish. If you have a tank size big enough and the right setup, they'll usually hang around the lower levels of the tank, and usually they're really good at staying in themselves and kind of hiding out in and around different plants and rocks in your tank. Another great thing about the Epistogramma is that there are many different varieties to choose from. You can go after the Magmasteri, which is what I had for a long time with my angelfish. There are things like the Cockatoides, which has really cool color pattern and fin extensions. And all of these are great options if you're looking for another cichlid to pair with the angel that doesn't get too big, requiring a massive tank. I think you can comfortably keep them in a 55 or 40 gallon tank long term with a couple angelfish. 
But Epistogram are one of my favorite cichlids out there and one of my favorite to recommend to people because they don't require that massive tank and therefore it's a much easier fish to care for and a great tank mate option for the angel. So coming in at number one on the list is, you guessed it, another cichlid and that is the ram. I went ahead and grouped the ram as the Bolivian ram and German blue ram and electric blues. All the different types of rams could definitely fit with the angelfish. That's actually one of the benefits of keeping the ram is that there are different varieties and colors to go after. If you do have a tank of maybe 55 gallons or larger, you could definitely have a couple pairs of rams along with some different angelfish, some schooling fish, and they would work really well in a planted aquarium. When I think of a peaceful community fish when it comes to cichlids, the ram is one of the top of those lists. They'll play nicely with some of the tetras, barbs, corridoras on this list as well. I think you could definitely go with some angels, rams, tetras, maybe even a pleco or quarry and you'd have a great community setup. You could also substitute the angel for the discus and have a really cool discus tank setup, which may or may not be a hint towards what I'm gonna be doing with my 90 gallon aquarium. But rams are another small cichlid from South America, so they share the same water parameters. They can definitely withstand higher temperatures like the angelfish, and they are relatively hardy, especially the Bolivian ram. When it comes to the German blue ram, that might be more of your intermediate level when it comes to fish keeping. I think they do just require a little more attention to detail and maybe slightly higher temperatures to keep them going. But out of all the rams, I think the German blue is probably my favorite. As long as you keep that extra eye on them, they're an awesome fish to keep alongside the angelfish. I'll definitely be getting some in the near future. Okay, so that's the top 10 list, but there are many honorable mentions because there are so many different types of community fish that could go with the angelfish. Starting with some out of Asia, the gourami and some of your loaches could definitely do well with the angelfish. The zebra and coolie loach could probably work really well with the angelfish. The clown loach is probably too big for most people to keep, but as long as you have a massive aquarium, you could definitely keep the clown loach alongside the angelfish without any issue. Also something like the rainbow fish could be a really good option or even some of your danios. They do swim a little bit too much around the tank for my liking when it comes to an angelfish, but they can definitely coexist without any issues. And then lastly, the one cichlid that I almost put on this list was the electric blue acara. I currently have four electric blue acara with my angelfish and my 150 and they get along great. Sometimes the electric blue acara can bully the angel just a bit, but as long as you have the proper tank set up, they should be just fine. But that does it for our top 10 list and the honorable mentions. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave that down below. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you next time.